Hello and welcome to our Open SAP course Understanding and Implementing the SAP Mobile Experience. In this three-week course, we will show you how SAP's mobile offering can help your business, your people and you personally better deal with today's many challenges. My name is Florian Herrich. I'm heading SAP's Mobile Experience and Engineering Unit. In our first unit, I'm going to look with you at the fundamental topics that define our solutions for holistic mobile business offering across all industries. From more flexible people management, to stabilized supply chains, to simplified in-house app development. Achieving this is all part of a comprehensive package that effectively acts as one mobile strategy integrated with SAP's business suite in the cloud. Let's have a look. You are most certainly here because you are using SAP for what it stands for. Managing business processes, effective data processing, and improving the information flow across your organization. This has always been complex enough under conditions that somehow seemed to be stable in the past. Now, however, we are facing constant disruption across markets and industries. A world of disruption has become the new normal. Global supply chains are shaken by shortages of raw materials, components and finished goods, as well as transportation delays and issues. Companies struggle to forecast demand and manage their inventory levels. This is particularly challenging for companies that rely on just-in-time inventory management. Planning and adjusting production and supply chain operations require more and more adaptive solutions that help companies act more flexibly and deliver instant results anywhere and at any time. At the same time, consumers and regulators are increasingly calling for more sustainable and environmentally friendly products and supply chain practices. Speaking of consumers, most industrial and post-industrial society experience general shifts in workforces. This is accompanied by new expectations how digital solutions need to look like and feel. As digital consumers, people today know firsthand how technology can support their work lifestyles. And employers need to deal with this. They need to manage the increased expectations of highly skilled professionals in terms of diversity of work styles. They need to speed up the onboarding process of employees from all generations. They need to cope with demand-driven staffing adjustments at the same time. And there is more that requires increased attention. When supply chains and flex work workforces become more decentralized but digitally connected, they are increasingly vulnerable to security threats. This needs mobile solutions that ensure robust device security measures for protecting enterprise operations and data beyond what today's device deliver out of the box, such as enterprise-level mobile device management. With these universal challenges in mind, let me elaborate on some specific examples from our customers where mobile solutions really make a difference. First, the resilient and sustainable supply chain. Did you know nine out of 10 warehouses around the world run SAP? Here, effectively managing resources, space, stock, capacity is key with remarkable effects on efficiency and sustainability. As you will see in this course, apps such as the SAP Warehouse Operator use distinctive native qualities like metric scanning to enable super fast product allocation. On spot, insights, monitoring, and clustering of products are requested by many to help keep supplies running. But using resources effectively is not just a cost factor, it also means saving resources in a way that leads to real sustainability outcomes. All of this made possible with consumer smartphones and tablets that are easier and cheaper to obtain, much easier to learn and easy to update than proprietary devices. 
Second example, reduce energy consumption in the machinery. This is, of course, one of the most pressing requirements. For industries with cost-intensive machinery, an effective asset management is vital, and it's best realized with mobile technology. Improving on-site energy consumption through mobile-assisted optimization measures and simplified maintenance leads to reduction in input parameters, breakdowns and losses, and it increases the reusable value of machines. And the third one, resilient workforces. More frequent changes in personal structures and work model conditions require the digital transformation of all processes around hiring, as well as measures to retain the best people for the best run companies. Here, consumer style mobile apps that simplify workflows and accompany employees during their corporate journey lead to better communication, collaboration, and higher employee satisfaction. Scenarios range from lean and anywhere human resources to effective expense management to providing distributed workforces with compliant, secure, sustainability, sustainable, sustainable, and last but not least, attractive equipment. As we will see in this course, the human factor in digital experiences is important to make people want to use a tool to get the job done. Choice and often the possibility to own a device that allows both corporate and private usage shouldn't be underestimated. This is based on experience we have successfully made with our own workforce and people at SAP for many years now. Overall, recent market studies show us that most people around the world are excellently equipped with smartphones or tablets. They use apps as a matter of course in every situation in life. But all these possibilities that people enjoy still come up against barriers in the professional environment. Enterprise mobility and the use of apps in the field, in sales units, healthcare, utilities, and many more, or in other everyday work are not yet where they could be in many companies. This is what we need to change. <clears throat> SAP has underlined its vision to enable every organization to become an intelligent, sustainable enterprise. Looking at the challenges we have seen so far, there are three core dimensions of an overall intelligent enterprise transformation, where mobile solutions make a particularly meaningful contribution. First, there is the contribution to the successful overall transformation of the four top end-to-end -to -end business processes. We need to offer out of the box or ready to use mobile solutions that improve process steps where it makes most sense. And we need to support the development of customer owned or partner applications for more specific requirements. With SAP's cloud applications and SAP business technology platform with its frameworks, we have come much closer to the idea of offering out of the box solutions for every enterprise. Design to operate, for example, integrates SAP S4HANA, SAP Integrated Business Planning for Supply Chain, and SAP Digital Manufacturing Cloud. Recruit to Retire integrates SAP Success Factors and SAP S4HANA and SAP Feed Class. Lead to Cash integrates, for example, the SAP Commerce Cloud and SAP Marketing Cloud. And finally, Source to Pay integrates SAP Ariba and SAP S4HANA. Given the challenges most of our customers face, one central strategic dimension is optimizing supply chain through accelerating innovation, reducing the complexity of operations, collecting insights at every touch point, and using intelligent on-device technology to sense opportunities, risks, and threats. Turning intelligent technology into action across every part of your business. And further, embedding then the sustainability as a new dimension of success helps optimize resources across the value chains. Sustainability is the big transformation force for all of us, and it's happening right now. Regulators worldwide have become very active to meet the Paris Agreement to limit global warming. 
Here, mobile solutions need to ensure high quality and compliant outcomes. When it comes to steering and reporting, for example, with apps that allow centralized task centers, KPI insights and workflows, decarbonization, for example, by reducing CO2 emissions through a more sustainable sourcing process, analyzing the as-is status per supplier or product, and ensuring a reliable data about plants, products, materials, or the material flow. So breaking down SAP's vision and strategy to a mobile vision, we can say that the holistic mobile experience needs to offer intelligent, consumer-grade mobile solutions that support enterprises in running more efficient, more resilient, and also more sustainable end-to-end -end processes. Classic on-premise ERP or CRM system require large investments in hardware, software, and IT to maintain and manage. One major advantage of mobile solutions that run on cloud-based systems is providing higher responsiveness, scalability, productivity, thanks to the ability to constantly benefit from evolving technology. The development is often pushed by consumer devices, where we at SAP work closely with major technology partners around the world. On the other hand, it's our task to push that development from a business perspective, to anticipate and deliver what industries will need. For this, we are constantly evaluating market and technology trends to see which features are useful to continuously support professionals in their daily work with an ever-evolving environment. There are, of course, requirements that have almost become standard commodities, such as to enable real-time tracking and communication with field workers using location-based services. And getting the most out of latest 5G network technology to enable real-time data exchange and remote monitoring. We are building on what latest devices allow regarding augmented reality and also virtual reality. These are highest priority environments, sorry, highest priority requirements, especially in the area of machinery repairs and maintenance, where we have finally seen technology advance that allow us to substantially improve a technician's task with apps such as the SAP Service and Asset Manager and the new SAP Product Model Viewer. Here we are speaking of immersive experiences for training, product maintenance and repairs, and also remote collaboration from installation work in the probable field to operations on the offshore utility facilities in the sea. Mobile consumer apps have revolutionized the way people interact with technology, thanks to innovations such as Siri, CarPlay, and recently advanced language models such as ChatGPT. We at SAP are working with all these technologies and the developers behind to ensure that professionals across businesses and industries can benefit from these technologies. SAP native applications such as SAP Mobile Start are already integrated with Siri, others with follow, allowing business workers to make inquiries about sales data, customer or machinery info and other metrics without touching the device, whether it's a watch or a phone or in the car. Talking about car, many will also appreciate CarPlay integration, where you, for example, will be able to check on the KPIs and then proceed quickly to your favorite collaboration tools with your team members or quickly process an approval workflow while driving, but not touching. And then there is ChatGPT. This is an entire new generation of chat tools is already transforming how people work today. Nobody doubts that the next technology revolution is in full swing. The challenge from a business perspective is to balance the huge bandwidth of opportunities that will come with finding responsible solutions together with our customers. And consequently, AI will be able to heavily optimize all our process steps accelerate analyzing customer demand and feedback, identify the most cost-effective and sustainable resources. 
the data you get with your SAP apps together with historical data online will be used for real-time predictions and recommendations, for example, on optimal inventory levels and reorder points. AI-powered sensors and monitoring applications will identify quality issues in real-time, allowing for quick interventions and reduced waste. For our SAP Ariba shopping application, we are already testing where AI can support people with answering questions on buying compliant and sustainable equipment based on the specific needs and requirements of the business. So as you can see, all these challenges and conditions lead to nothing less than to create a mobile experience that fundamentally changes how people work. Wherever we look, people want more than just efficiency. They want to feel cared about with experiences that are relevant, unburdening and approachable. That's why we build realistic persona profiles that mirror the tasks and activities of actual people in their business and industry environment. From black suit to blue collar. Whenever people want to work, whatever the business context may be, whoever needs the appropriate persona specific information and wherever people are working. Mobile matters when the strengths of SAP's industry and business process knowledge are combined with distinctive native features. This creates relevance for people, such as push notification, location-based services, GPS, geo sensors, metric scanning, AI, and machine learning. To create the relevant persona profile for a service technician or a warehouse clerk, for example, we use value engineering to define a 360 picture of the industry role. We ensure the right content is in place and in our native entry point app, SAP Mobile Start, and all connected applications. We optimize individual and team usage patterns, utilizing digital assistance, workflow acceleration, for example, through app-to-app -app links, and integration with SAP and third-party collaboration tools. With the relevant persona industry match in place, we are able to free people productivity from location or resource-based constraints. Coming to the end of this introduction, I want to briefly recap what we have looked at in this unit and deduct what is absolutely vital for an effective mobile business experience. Integrating with the SAP strategy as the leading provider for a range of industries and crucial business process alike means to offer an experience that anticipates complex challenges and requirements with one comprehensive mobile package. And that's offering through composed mobile solutions for SAP's end-to-end -end industry processes to perform numerous enterprise activities on a variety of mobile and mixed reality devices. Simplified and accelerated entry into business-relevant applications for various generations of users with consumer-style native applications such as SAP Mobile Start and low barriers for onboarding. Simplified and secure ways for our IT departments to introduce mobile apps into their organizations and to our people. And help for companies to holistically transform, including simpler and faster capabilities for in-house mobile development, combining unified standards apps out of the Apple and Android app stores with specific custom apps. We need to combine the applications, the technology, and the transformational expertise of SAP to a mobile experience package that works as one mobile, offering well-defined solutions to actual challenges for actual people. You will see and hear how SAP's mobile experience actually works for you in the next chapter of this course. My name is Florian Herrig, and I hope I could get you some insights in how we shape our new mobile offering for you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hello and a warm welcome to week one, unit two of our course, Understanding and Implementing the SAP Mobile Experience. 
My name is Robert Wassermann, and I'm a product manager in the mobile experience and engineering team at SAP. I hope you enjoyed the previous unit where we shared the actual business challenges enterprises are facing today and how mobile applications and technology help master those challenges. In this unit, we will go one step further and provide insights into SAP's vision and strategy for a holistic mobile experience. So let's get started. In Unit 1, we have shared why having a mobile transformation strategy is important in order to be able to anticipate and react to today's challenges. We have seen that there is a clear shift towards a hybrid workforce that is keen to deliver their day-to-day -day business activities not only when they are in the office, but basically anytime, anywhere. This means that our customers need to equip their employees with the required business processes and data on their mobile devices. SAP has been supporting the usage of mobile devices for more than a decade and has delivered dedicated native applications to support mobile workers around the globe. The objective of our mobile experience strategy is to support our customers to define and execute their own mobile transformation strategy and roadmap, supporting all their employees to work effectively. One of our main cornerstones of our mobile experience strategy is delivering a suite of native LOB applications. These range from applications like the SAP SuccessFactors mobile app for all employees to the SAP Service and Asset Manager, an application for service and maintenance technicians. All these applications are based on three main pillars. These are a human-centric experience, continuous innovation, and scalable extensions. On the following slides, I will share more details on each of these pillars. One very important goal of our applications is to deliver a human-centric experience. We put the end users into the center of our activities. We run comprehensive user research activities together with our customers and partners to understand end user requirements and pain points. Another important information for us is in which situations and how people want to use mobile devices and applications. Based on this knowledge, we are able to provide the desired interaction patterns, best-in-class user interfaces, and a user experience that make hybrid work and collaboration on mobile devices as enjoyable and efficient as possible. Continuous innovation is a key driver to deliver the business benefits our customers and end users are looking for. Our objective is not just to deliver a one-off mobile application, but to enhance business processes based on end-user requirements, leveraging device capabilities such as on-device artificial intelligence, machine learning, or notification services. The collaboration with our customers and partners in the area of new and upcoming technologies and innovations allows us to jointly evaluate enterprise readiness and potential use cases where these technologies can be integrated into. This way, we can focus on those technologies that enable a quick return on invest and the competitive advantages we want to enable. With SAP's end-to-end -end stack and integration, we ensure that our mobile applications can easily be deployed. 
that these apps support security standards and compliance requirements that they integrate smoothly into SAP systems such as SAP S4 HANA and that they also enable industry best practices through scalable extensions. A second important cornerstone of our mobile strategy is to support all enterprise mobile workers. These are not only specialized mobile workers anymore. The user profiles range from employees that want to consume their business processes wherever they are, to decision makers that need the required information to make critical business decisions while being on the go, to business users that need real-time actionable insights, up to frontline workers that require intelligent technology support to deliver their day-to-day -day jobs. When looking at the variety of enterprise mobile workers, it is important to recognize that they apply different mobile work styles. These include employees that still primarily use desktop applications and only infrequently use mobile applications, as well as frontline mobile workers whose jobs heavily depend on the availability of mobile devices and applications. These different mobile work styles bring along different requirements when it comes to how employees would like to use mobile applications. An employee that uses desktop applications most of their time does not want to switch to a new user interface and interaction pattern when they are already at home and just need to finalize a business process. These employees most likely want to use the same desktop application they use during the day also on their mobile device. The campus or frontline worker on the other hand need applications that make full use of the device and operating system capabilities to ensure they get the full support and benefits they are looking for and need to deliver their jobs efficiently. In order to support these different requirements, our mobile strategy is based on two different app experiences. The first one is the responsive app experience, where web applications such as SAP S4 HANA Fury UI 5 apps can be used on desktop computers and also on tablets or smartphones. These deliver the same experience from the desktop to the mobile phone or tablet, which makes it easier for the infrequent mobile worker to include mobile devices into their daily activities. The second is the native app experience. Here, the dedicated native mobile applications make full use of the device and operating system capabilities and run on tablets, smartphones and other smart devices. These native mobile apps enable features like on-device augmented reality, which can deliver important benefits and enable efficiency gains for the campus or frontline mobile worker. Additionally, native apps support security requirements so that organizations can feel confident that their data and the personal information of users is protected. Another aspect of our mobile experience strategy consists of exploring and driving technology innovations. In order to be able to stay on top of their competition or master the challenges we discussed in Unit 1, our customers seek to include new innovative technologies into their daily processes. Like mentioned before, native mobile applications enable the usage of these technologies and innovations on mobile devices. 
This combination helps optimize existing business processes or even define completely new processes that, for example, can reduce idle time or remove unnecessary process steps, resulting in increased efficiency, cost savings, and higher end user satisfaction. Now let us have a look at how SAP's mobile experience integrates into SAP's intelligent enterprise strategy. With the SAP Business Technology Platform as the foundation for our intelligent suite applications and industry cloud, SAP has the unique ability to integrate business processes end-to-end -end across partner, SAP, and third-party applications. The SAP Business Technology Platform is your mobile innovation platform. Dedicated and powerful services provide, for example, mobile development capabilities with the SAP Software Development Kit for iOS and Android or the Mobile Development Kit. Both enable our customers and partners to develop and deliver their own custom-built mobile extensions, applications, and business processes. Which one is recommended can easily be clarified together with SAP when looking at the customer's specific requirements. On top of the SAP Business Technology Platform, SAP's native mobile applications deliver mobile-optimized business processes that integrate into the line of business and industry applications to deliver a seamless mobile suite experience. The platform, the mobile applications, the business processes, plus the extension and innovation capabilities provided by this end-to-end -end stack delivers a mobile offering that serves as a key enabler to drive your digital and mobile transformation. This one mobile experience from SAP offers customers an effective mobile setup through composed solutions, a simplified entry into business critical processes, features for building apps, as well as accelerated adoption. We combine SAP's unparalleled industry power with a seamless mobile experience that people want to use to enable business anywhere, offering a user experience that conveys what people love about consumer devices to the business world, using the best of what's possible with native device and app features. One cohesive mobile portfolio across all SAP solutions, whether a customer adopts SAP apps out of the box or builds their own apps using SAP technology. Features optimized for critical business processes that, for example, strengthen supply chain resilience, workforce performance, and financial steering. And lastly, a persona-oriented design from simple setup to people-centric industry experiences accelerating enterprise adoption. With our one mobile experience approach, SAP helps to transform your business supported by our modern and transformative native applications. Lastly, SAP also provides holistic learning resources like SAP Learning Journeys, Learn by Product and Open SAP to help our customers transfer the required knowledge and skills into their organization quickly and efficiently. This now concludes our unit on SAP's mobile experience vision and strategy. Let me quickly recap what we have learned in this unit. We have covered the three cornerstones of our native suite of mobile LOB applications. 
Those are a human-centric experience, continuous innovation, and scalable extensions. Furthermore, we took a look at the mobile enterprise workforce, the different mobile work styles they apply, and how the combination of web and native applications support their requirements. Afterwards, we learned that technology trends and innovations are a key enabler for mobile transformation. And last but not least, we shared with you how our end-to-end -end stack, starting with the SAP Business Technology Platform and its services, the SAP Fury Design System, the mobile optimized business processes, as well as our transformative intelligent mobile applications, support to improve the way our customers and end users work. In the next units, we will revisit the components we discussed in this unit and share more details around the services on the SAP Business Technology Platform, the mobile development tools, the Fury Design System, our native mobile applications, and how to run and operate this end-to-end -end stack efficiently and effectively. Again, my name is Robert Wassermann, and it has been my pleasure being your host for this unit. I wish you many interesting insights throughout the remaining units of our course, understanding and implementing the SAP mobile experience. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and a warm welcome to week one, unit three of our course, Understanding and Implementing the SAP Mobile Experience. My name is Thorsten Stefan, and I'm a member of SAP's Mobile Experience and Engineering Product Unit. I'm here today with Sami Lechner from the SAP Business Technology Platform Mobile Product Management. In this session, you will learn about SAP's mobile offering for the intelligent enterprise. Let's get started. So why is a holistic mobile strategy and approach important? First, users expect a modern user experience when doing their daily jobs and tasks. A modern user experience which fulfills the various work styles and expectations of users being in different situations and locations throughout their day, providing them flexibility and choice. And second, the digital transformation needs and opportunities to increase efficiency productivity, competitiveness, and resilience of the business processes. So any employee, decision maker, and business expert demand a trusted and seamless experience between a desktop and a mobile to ensure that you won't miss a thing and that you are able to react to business insights and do the most important tasks while you're away from the desks. This is not an either or question. This is common understanding. So when taking a look into the frontline workers now, this is a very mission critical set of use cases and personas, which have a mobile only work environment. Their need is to have a complete business process running on the mobile device to be independent of connectivity challenges when being out in the field, doing and executing their tasks. So now let's take a look into who are those personas and how their daily tasks are seamlessly embedded and covered in the SAP business processes. The various work styles and needs are well covered, obviously, in SAP's portfolio. Personas using SAP software easily benefit from that. We see here some examples of decision maker roles in various solution areas, like a finance manager, a store manager, hiring manager, or production supervisors, which are all benefiting from being connected during their different situations and locations while doing their tasks of their job. Furthermore, we cover essential frontline worker personas in their daily mobile only work environment, like service technicians and maintenance technicians, delivery drivers and warehouse operators, and many more. And that is very essential for us. So how do we make sure that all of those roles and personas that we just talked to a bit 
are provided with a holistic approach. So first, as mentioned, our mobile experience is a seamlessly integrated experience with our business processes to provide a unique modern user experience. With that, SAP's mobile experience automatically benefits and integrates into the Intelligent Suite qualities. As an example, user experience, one workflow inbox, APIs, and embedded analytics. Second, we provide pre-packaged SAP mobile applications, which allow a high degree of personalization, customization, and extensibility capabilities. And third, with the SAP Business Technology Platform as the foundation for our intelligent suite applications and industry cloud, SAP has a unique ability to integrate core processes end-to-end -end and deliver a mobile suite experience covering SAP built, partner built, and customer built mobile applications. That foundation allows customers and partners to extend and adopt from us the SAP prepackaged mobile applications and or build their own mobile applications with the same tools and qualities to achieve the same mobile suite experience. Now, th there is an overview now here of the most relevant SAP mobile applications across the solution areas, which you can get from SAP and adopt to your needs. I will now provide you with more content per mobile application, and we do have dedicated modules in our course for some of them with all of the details. These mobile applications reflect the bespoken needs and opportunities of the various personas. To allow our users an easy and seamless access to business process content, SAP mobile apps, partner and customer build apps, across the intelligent enterprise, we do provide the SAP mobile start application as our central mobile entry point to all of that content. Now, let's better understand what the SAP Mobile Start app provides. SAP Mobile Start is the native entry point that places the intelligent enterprise at your fingertips. Access your important business information, application, and processes from across SAP solutions through a modern user interface. The app uses latest mobile device and OS capabilities like widgets, Apple Search, and push notifications to make sure you never miss an important event. Further, the SAP Task Center integration combines all tasks in one view and allows a swift handling of tasks to speed up business processes and corresponding workflows. So the SAP Mobile Start also supports Apple Watch and allows to keep track of your to-dos and KPIs with it. Now let's have a look into some key mobile applications for Cloud ERP. Let's start first with the SAP Service and Asset Manager. That application handles managing of work orders, notifications, condition monitoring, material consumption, time management, and furthermore. It supports multiple personas for asset management, field service management, and inventory management in one single app, enabling highly skilled workers to perform their job while complex information and business logic that is always available whether they are connected to the network or working in offline work environments out in the field. Another application and area is the SAP Product Model Viewer. With that application, you access and display SAP Enterprise Product Development Models and allow engineers, manufacturers, service providers, asset operators to view step-by-step -step work instructions and products, equipment and spare part information in a 3D environment right on their phone and tablet. Now, logistics in the area of warehouses. We do have the SAP Warehouse Operator as a next generation native iOS mobile application that is built on warehouse management in SAP S4 HANA Cloud to bring its powerful features to the iPhones. The app's modern user experience is tailored to warehouse operators' needs so that they can stay efficient by performing critical warehouse tasks using the phone by tapping into the on-device innovations. Furthermore, in other areas, let's take a look into the spend management and business network. Now, with the SAP Ariba Shopping Mobile app, you have a personalized, intuitive, and sustainable shopping experience anywhere and anytime. The application connects you to the SAP Ariba, 
and lets casual employees shop easily from their mobile devices. Further in that area, the SAP Conquer mobile application. So if you use Conquer Travel, Expense or Invoice at work, then you can easily use that Conquer mobile application as a companion application to manage your travel and expenses when you are on the go, like review and approve expense reports, invoices and travel requests. Snap a photo of your receipt and instantly add it to your expense report. Book a flight or rail ticket. Reserve hotel rooms or rent a car and many more. Now, furthermore, in that area, the Field Glass Manager Hub mobile application. With that application, you access the My Workers dashboard in the SAP Field Glass application remotely and you can perform frequent use uh, actions for managing job postings, job seekers, work orders and workers anywhere and anytime. Now, networks. Business networks. SAP Business Network Supplier app helps procurement suppliers to be responsive anytime and anywhere. You can collaborate with your customers anywhere and anytime and the app allows suppliers to transact and respond to new business leads, create documents on the go such as PO and non-PO invoices, order confirmation, service entry sheets, advanced ship notices and credit memos. So let's move on to another solution area into the human capital management and customer relationship management. In that area, I would like to introduce uh, some key applications like the SuccessFactors mobile application. That application helps businesses bring HR closer to their employees so that they are more engaged, more productive and much smarter about the way they work. The mobile application provides you to view employee profiles, call and text them or email them directly, approve all of the, your requisitions within seconds, view your company's organization chart to see how everyone is connected, including direct reports, metrics reports and new hires. You can post your own text, photo and video updates, view and add comments to entire documents, presentations, videos and links and many more. Now, Customer Relationship Management, SAP Sales Cloud Mobile. That application provides customers access to the SAP Sales Cloud data and processes and allows salespeople to gain customer insights, collaborate with their team, communicate better with their business network and make informed decisions right from their mobile devices in the situation they are in. So I mentioned industry cloud, so let's take a look into the industry cloud uh, in that particular area into consumer products. So I would like to hi highlight one app in particular, which is the SAP Direct Distribution. That application enables delivery drivers to efficiently transport goods from a high capacity freight station to a final destination like a store or a kiosk. It is the leading mobile application for the last mile distribution business processes of SAP direct distribution in SAP S4 HANA. So that's another frontline worker application. So now we have looked into the various solution areas and the corresponding key mobile applications from SAP. The opportunities for customers and partners to adopt them and build own applications in addition. And now we want to understand how our foundation, the SAP Business Technology Platform, supports all of this and assures this mobile suite experience for everyone. So with that, I would like to hand over to you, Sami. Thank you, Torsten. My name is Sami Leschner, and I will take over the part, this part of the unit. The SAP Business Technology Platform serves as the foundation of the intelligent enterprise. With BTP, business users gain access to both standard solutions and custom-built solutions tailored to their specific needs. Additionally, LOB, line of business experts, are empowered to create no-code, low-code solutions, while developers are equipped with powerful tools to extend the intelligent enterprise. For IT administrators, BTP offers a suite of enterprise-grade tools efficiently to manage and operate solutions. By leveraging the capabilities of BTP, organizations can stay ahead of the curve in this fast-paced world of mobile technologies. In addition to serving as the foundation for the intelligent enterprise, BTP is also the base for SAP's mobile solution. 
With SAP BTP Mobile SDKs, developers can build custom and extend SAP mobile apps using a variety of programming languages and development tools, which I will introduce in week three, unit two. For IT administrators, BTP's mobile services provides a comprehensive set of tools to get mobile solutions up and running quickly to ensure that they remain stable and secure over time. Join me in week three, unit four, for more details on that. And if you're interested in building and deploying a custom mobile app in less than 20 minutes, be sure to join me in week three, unit three of this course. I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process how to create a seamless, user-friendly mobile experience with SAP BTP tools. If you want to interact with us and get more details, join us on our SAP community page, where you'll find all the information about the SAP mobile experiences. What have you learned in this course? SAP's unique and holistic mobile offering to ensure your digital transformation and fulfill the user's needs. And BTP is the foundation for the intelligent enterprise, empowering SAP teams, partners, and customers to build enterprise-grade solutions. BTP provides low-code tools for LOB experts and powerful tools for developers. It also has a comprehensive suite of tools and services for IT admins to deploy fast and operate secure mobile solutions. In the next session, Jenny is going to talk about customer centricity and user validation. My name is Sam Leschner and it has been a pleasure to be your instructor for this part of the unit. Hello and a warm welcome to week one, unit four of our course, Understanding and Implementing the SAP Mobile Experience. I hope you enjoyed the last unit with the overview of SAP's mobile portfolio. There, we learned how much there is to it to provide a whole mobile experience to a customer, and also ensuring a long-term high-quality mobile experience. My name is Dr. Jennifer Griese, and I'm the principal UX research expert of SAP's mobile experience and engineering. In this session, you will learn about SAP's focus on customer centricity and user validation. Now, why is that important? At SAP, our goal is to achieve 100% customer centricity. We want to create apps for you that are consistent and reliable, innovative and intuitive to use, but also flexible and customizable. Now, how do we make sure we are actually building what's really needed out there? Here, I've broken down our user research activities into six categories to give you a glimpse into the user research world and provide a rough overview. First up, we love to engage with the customer in customer workshops. These are essential to gain feedback on early concepts as well as personas, but also to help us prioritize feature development and validate our roadmap. Next up, we have field research. We use observation and shadowing techniques to gain an in-depth understanding of the user and their work environment. We basically become their trainee and walk a mile in their shoes to make sure we don't have any blind spots when we are back in the office and working on our apps. For that, we also do one-on-one -on -one interviews with the users or conduct moderated usability tests with them. This way, we can ask all our open questions as well as test product concepts and early prototypes with the users. Now, let's come to one of my personal favorites of user validations. Both with customer contacts as well as a representative sample of our target users, we conduct interactive online user research studies. What is that? <laughs> These are unmoderated online studies similar to taking part in a survey, but with interactive prototype tasks, tree tests, card sortings, timeout tests, etc. We do this quantitative kind of study to test and validate product concepts as well as prototypes of new features, navigational structures, you name it. But we'll come back to those in a bit. Now, last but not least, of course, we also collect in-product or in our case, in-app feedback once a product or app is built and released. We do this to gain the user's feedback and, of course, also to benchmark certain metrics such as the product satisfaction, 
usefulness and usability scores. Of course, all these user research and user validation techniques have one thing in common. The general idea behind it is of course based on design thinking principles. So first you need to fully understand the user, their work environment, all the dependencies that come with it and processes. Then you can come up with a concept to close a gap that might be there or simply improve certain aspects. And only then you start prototyping it and you test it again and again in an iterative process and you validate it with your potential future users. And of course we do all of that continuously. It's not a one-way street. What we always say as researchers is after the study is before the study because there is always more to learn and validate to make sure we stay exactly on track to build exactly what's needed by the users. Now here is what this looks like in the whole product life cycle. Don't worry, we won't dive too much into the details here though. There's one key takeaway. The key takeaway is that there is a whole plethora of user research techniques that we apply how and when needed to answer all questions that arise during the development of a product. And the same goes for developing just a specific feature, of course. So every new feature also has a discovery and a design phase, etc., and needs to be validated. All right, now let's dive a little deeper into field research, which I personally am a huge fan of. Now, why am I so convinced that field research is the most important step for building apps, especially for blue color jobs and pretty much all jobs where the user is moving around a lot, highly mobile? Here, what you can see is I've brought a few exemplary pictures with me. So, if we are looking at an app such as SAP Warehouse Operator, it's extremely valuable to really go into the customer's warehouses and learn from their employees directly how they do their work. It's only then that exactly that you find out if the audio feedback should rather be maybe haptic feedback because it might be loud there. But also simple things such as that for the night shift workers, there might just simply be bad lighting than in the lower shelves, which makes it difficult to scan the barcode in that specific area. So in our app, we might need to enable the flashlight then, for example. And of course, you also do find out things like where is there maybe a paper trail still in use and that the warehouse operators wear gloves, which means that there might be many misclicks if you simply have two small buttons on your interface. So sometimes it can be as simple as that, which could make or break an app and its usability. Now here are some more examples. So in case of SAP service and asset manager, we might need to take into account that the maintenance technician might work in dangerous spots, as you can see here on the picture. They might also wear specific protective gear, but also that sometimes it's a two-man job. There might be a four-eye principle or two-person rule in place where certain crucial steps need to be confirmed by a second employee. And all of that, of course, we need to take into account when building our product. All right, now these examples seem very trivial and simple, but of course we also need to validate everything in detail once we have created our concept based on the field research findings. Here I'll show you some examples of how we use quantitative research methods to validate that we are indeed on the right track when building our app and its feature. What you can see here is a clickstream. This one is already very, very simplified and only shows the most important branches, the most important clink path of a specific user segment in one of our online studies. This actually also stems from a very short task in one of our app prototypes, but you can already see on that simple picture here how many ways there actually are that the user can actually do a task and that not everybody follows the ideal path that leads to the green success field here. And now here, we've simplified this for the educational purposes even more. What you see here on the screen is just part of a very old prototype flow. This comes actually from early concept tests from our SAP Direct Distribution app for delivery truck drivers and van sellers. When we try to find the best way for the user to do certain tasks, we typically end up doing an A-B test. What does that mean? 
That means that we'll have two different ways, for example, a navigational structure of a navigational structure, and then we let one half of our study participants go to the, do the task in prototype A, and then the other half of our study participants, we let them go do the task, the exact same task, in prototype B. Also, we can analyze where they clicked first. So basically, what has been their very first intuitive impulse to perform the task. You can actually see some of the results of this in the right side on the click map and also on the heat map. And then, in the end, of course, we analyze the task success rates of design A versus design B, and also the task completion times, as well as the click stream, similar to what you've seen before. So here, for example, there was a huge issue in most of designs B, particularly when it came to task four. So glad we caught it and way before it was ever built or released that way. All right. <laughs> but now it's probably very clear to you why I love user research so much and want to run just study after study. But what does that mean for you? What's really in it for you? Why should you be the one to partner up with us and provide feedback? Well, first of all, many of our user research activities we actually do with paid participants that we recruit from specialized agencies based on their job profile. So you don't have to do everything with us. I know I showed a lot, but um, somehow at certain points, it is just so best to get in touch with our customers directly. So by partnering up with us, you get to impact our product definition and development to make sure that it is exactly your ideal solution built by SAP. If you only rely on other customers and their feedback, we might build a solution that's ideal for their processes, but maybe not yours. Then, of course, you also want to be sure that the new app delivers real value. We validate our prototypes extensively, as you just saw, to make sure our solution truly makes your end users work more efficient and simply better, maybe even more delightful. <laughs> and then, of course, if you become one of our early adopters, you can be sure that your rollout will be highly supported by us. So of course, we care deeply about all our customers, but there's of course simply more hand-holding involved here. All right, so let's break it down into the three main types of user research activities that we'd actually like to do with you. First up, there are product requirement and customer feedback sessions. So basically, customer validation sessions. Then, there is moderated user research, ideally field research, as I just explained. And then there is quantitative research in the form of unmoderated online studies, which are especially easy and quick to take part in. Okay, now the next three slides are basically just for you to have a little one slide summary for each of these three types of customer activities. Later, you can, of course, download the whole slide deck, and then you'll have everything at your fingertips to just share it with your colleagues and superiors as you see fit. All right, so here I've summarized some info about the customer workshops. Ideally, we, of course, like to do them in person. We can come to you or you can come to us, just whatever is more convenient for you. However, if in person just isn't feasible, of course, remote is always an option. And what's also important to note here is, ideally, you bring some IT experts with you, but also one to two end users. These can be power users or occasional users, but it's really great to get their thoughts too. Now, here is the slide regarding field research. Here, we use the teacher-student paradigm, as we call it, to really become an apprentice in the job of the user. Only then we can truly understand their needs, their main use cases, pain points, their typical process steps, but also how they handle exceptions and if they have workarounds for certain events. Alternatively, or in addition, we also like to validate our prototypes with them and then get di their direct and unfiltered feedback. And last but not least, there is the slide regarding quantitative research via unmoderated online studies. As I said before, it's very simple to take part in. So participants simply click on our study link and then take part in a 10 to 15 minute survey or interactive prototype study. 
Ideally, to be able to collect statistically significant data, we are hoping for at least 50 study participants, but they don't all have to come from your company alone. They can also be a mix of your users and users from other SAP customers. Okay, now, what does that look like for you then? Here you can see a draft, really just an exemplary timeline of customer activities. Everything here can be done, but of course it always depends on you and what works for you. So basically this is just an offer from our side. So ideally in the discovery phase we'll start with the product requirement workshop and also check in with you later then in the design phase. And of course in parallel we do a customer site visit for field research, some observations and shadowing, and later also some prototype validations with some of your users. And then in the development phase, of course, we love to get your feedback on the new app or feature also on the live app. All right, let's come to the end. How can you actually get in touch with us? We have the customer engagement initiatives, the CEI. To learn more about the CEI, please go to influence.sub.com. There you can find all of our current or upcoming CEI projects regarding our mobile apps. But of course, there are also many projects about other SAP products. And to first learn more about SAP's mobile applications in general, you can of course also go to our community.sub.com page. All right. This concludes week one, unit four, customer centricity and user validation. What have we learned in this session? One, it is SAP's goal to have 100% focus on our customers and users' needs. Two, how do we make sure we build the right product or feature? We apply a diverse set of user research methods to gather both qualitative and quantitative feedback. And now here's what's most important. Here's the key takeaway that I'd just love for you to have. Please do make sure to use your opportunity to impact our product development. Simply reach out to your SAP contacts if you already have them and or sign up directly to our current customer engagement initiatives. We'd love to welcome you there. All right, I think this concludes our first week. Again, my name is Dr. Jennifer Griese and it has been a pleasure to be a speaker for this course. In week two, we will go one level deeper and talk about scenarios for different personas which are part of our portfolio. We will describe in the sessions of that week both the concrete functionality the certain user group gets and details how to implement it in your company. So have fun with week two. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>